welcome the Buffalo Sabres. Now, please join me in welcoming tonight's dignitaries and guests of honor. Sabres Vice Chairman of the Board and Council, Mr. Robert O. Suedos. Sabres Assistant to the President, Mr. Seymour H. Knox IV. Along with his brother, founder of the Buffalo Sabres, one of tonight's two honorees, Mr. Northrop R. Knox. Founder of the Buffalo Sabres and Chairman of the Board, and tonight's other honoree, Mr. Seymour H. Knox III. And now, the man who emceed the Sabres' very first opening night ceremonies here 26 years ago, the Dean of Western New York Sportscasting, Mr. Rick Azar. Thank you very much. Tonight, it is only fitting that the Sabres, the auditorium, and even the opponents come full circle. 25 seasons ago, two young men with a family-bred dedication to their hometown and a self-bred determination to make it big league in hockey stood proudly here at center ice when Floyd Smith and Jean Beliveau faced off to begin the National Hockey League experience in Buffalo. I would like at this time to introduce the families of Seymour and Nordy Knox. First, Seymour's wife, Jean. Their, their, their children, Seymour IV, Reed, Avery, and Helen, and their families. Nordy's wife, Lucetta, their children, Nordy Jr. and Linda, and their families. I would also like to acknowledge the members of the Buffalo Sabres Hockey Hall of Fame Committee, Larry Felzer and Jack Gatecliffe, who could not be with us this evening, Paul Whelan, Jim Kelly, Wayne Redshaw, and the redoubtable Rick Janaret up in the broadcast booth. Seymour, Nordy, in addition to the thousands of fans in the stands tonight, several of your very special and cherished friends are here to honor you on this momentous occasion. These men all hold a very special place in your hearts. May I introduce them one and all. Former coach of the Sabres, please welcome Joe Crozier. The first captain of the Buffalo Sabres in 1970, number 17, Floyd Smith. He played center in the Sabres' first ever opening night. Please welcome number eight, Billy Inglis.
Former Sabres captain number 15, Jerry Meehan. He played eight years in the National Hockey League. Number three, Mike Robitaille. Twelve-year NHL veteran number three, Richie Dunn. Still a fan favorite in Buffalo, number four, Jerry King Kong Korab. A member of the Sabres Hall of Fame, number six, Jim Schoenfeld. He's number seven, retired. He's the left wing of the French Connection, Richard Martin. They call him the Batman, number eight, Jim Lorenz. Played five seasons with the Sabres, number eight, Tony McKedney. A nine-year NHL veteran, number nine, Gilles Hamel. A member of the Sabres Hall of Fame, number 10, Craig Ramsey. 16-year pro, number 12, Jody Gay. The right winger on the French Connection, number 14, retired. Please welcome Rene Robert. War number 15 for the Sabres, Mike Boland. He had the first two goal game in Sabres history, number 16, Randy Wairosa. Ten year NHL veteran, war number 16, Rick Seely. He finished his 14 year career with the Sabres, number 17, Fred Stanfield. Another number 17 and former Sabres captain, Mike Foligno. Sabres Hall of Famer, former captain number 18, Danny Gare. A hard-nosed winger, number 19, Steve Atkinson. He wore number 19 for the Sabres, Morris Titanic. Played six seasons in a Sabres uniform, number 19, Derek Smith. A member of the Sabres Hall of Fame, number 20, Don Luce. 15-year NHL veteran, currently associate coach of the Sabres, number 20, Don Lieber. War number 21 for the Sabres, Hugh Harris. Number 22 for the Sabres, Doug Rombo. Six-year veteran, number 22, Ray McKay. Played three seasons for the Sabres, number 23, Larry Carrier. War number 23 during the Sabres career, Ken Breitenbach. This man spent his entire 14-year career with the Sabres. Number 24, Billy Hyde. Ten-year NHL veteran, now a Sabres coach. Number 25, Terry Martin. War number 25 for the Sabres, Jerry Gillis. Played nine of his 12 NHL seasons with the Sabres. Number 27, Larry Playfair. Played 14 seasons in the NHL. Number 27, Will Paymont. Played four seasons in the Sabres uniform. Number 30, Jerry Desjardins. the all-time leading scorer for the Buffalo Sabres, an NHL Hall of Famer, number 11, Gilbert Perrin.
fortunate we all are to be here on this night. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the highlight of the evening, to present the Hall of Fame Sabres to our honorees, Mr. Seymour H. Knox IV. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and Sabres fans around the world. On behalf of the Buffalo Sabres Hall of Fame Committee, it is a great honor and privilege to induct the founders of the Buffalo Sabres, my uncle, Northrop R. Knox, and my father, Sabres Chairman of the Board, Seymour H. Knox III, into the Buffalo Sabres Hall of Fame. Their hard work, tireless efforts, drive, determination, and leadership brought the NHL here 26 years ago. Tonight, they are being honored for their dedication, hard work, and tireless efforts in changing Buffalo's entertainment landscape over those 26 years. The Hattrick of Sports teams you own and operate, our beloved Sabres, the Buffalo Blizzard, and our Buffalo Bandits have touched the lives of thousands across western New York and southern Ontario. On the amateur sports scene, thousands of kids have participated in Buffalo Sabre hockey schools and learned to skate clinics. And now, thousands more are participating in the Buffalo Sabre street hockey program all across western New York. A few of us, a few of the great many people who have touched your lives are here with us tonight. Our longtime many season ticket holders and fans, our Sabres family, our terrific staff, our great players, past and present, your good friends, your friends from the National Hockey League, and needless to say, your loving and supportive families. Next year, you will touch many more lives in our great community with the opening of our new home, the Marine Linden Arena. I know I speak collectively for all our families in saying how much we love you and extend to you our heartiest congratulations on your induction into the Sabres Hall of Fame. I now have the privilege of asking both of you to assume the position of your predecessors. Good <laughs> Welcome to the Sabres Hall of Fame and your place amongst the truly great legends of the odd. It's my great privilege and honor to introduce my uncle, Northrop Barnox. Thank you, Seymour. Standing on the ice tonight brings back a lot of memories. 25 years is a long time from the, those early days with Punch Imlac and the great teams he put together. Who can forget them? And some of them are here tonight. I remember just a few incidents, and I hope you will too. Shoney and Cashman through the Zamboni entrance. <laughs> Roger the Dodger. Rico Martin's first shot as a Sabre ripping off the opposing goalie's glove. Clear the track with Eddie Shack. Rennie Robert's goal in the fog. Penalty killers Luce and Ramsey. Danny Gare's first goal in 20 seconds. The Batman. Korab and the Russians. Patty and the Dominator. And the greatest of them all, number 11. And there are very many more standing in line in front of you all tonight, and I'm just so pleased and honored to see them here tonight. 
We will never forget those guys. And to those behind the scenes who have worked so hard for the Sabres organization, the general managers, coaches, trainers, Dave Foreman, Bob Suedos, and many more, we won't forget them, and we thank them for all they have done for the Sabres. My family is here tonight. They have shared with me and you these wonderful years, and I want to thank them for their support. In particular, my wife, Sela. We've shared 45 years together. It's been great. But most of all, I want to pay tribute tonight to my brother Seymour, the heart and soul of the Sabres, the creator of the franchise who has worked so hard for so many years on behalf of our team. We would not be here tonight except for his perseverance and his leadership. He is an extraordinary human being, a wonderful guy, and we owe him a huge debt of gratitude. Well, everybody, we haven't won the Stanley Cup yet, but we will. Thank you all, fans. You're the greatest. I would like to say a few words as well. Uh, before I do, I want to thank Seymour for his very kind words. Little did I believe that my namesake's son would someday help induct me into the Buffalo Sabres Hall of Fame. I would first like to express my heartfelt thanks to my brother, Norty, whose help, loyal support, and sage advice have meant so much to this franchise from the day of its inception. It is really a special thrill to be inducted with him on this same memorable occasion. I would also like to thank our special counsel and mentor, Bob Suedos, whose tireless efforts, boundless energy, and unswerving loyalty to the Buffalo Sabres have contributed so much to our success. My very special thanks to my lovely wife, Jean, and number one Sabres fan, whose tremendous patience and understanding have been so important in my life. I also want to thank our three sons, Seymour, Reed, and Avery, and our daughter, Helen, for their love and encouragement throughout the years. Thanks also to our family members and special friends who came here tonight. Your presence is very much appreciated. Finally, I would like to take this opportunity to thank our many devoted Sabres fans whom we have had throughout the years from both sides of the border on the Niagara frontier. You are, without doubt, the most knowledgeable and loyal hockey fans in the NHL. And the Buffalo Sabres have appreciated your tremendous patience and support. It certainly has been a very special honor to have been elected to the Buffalo Sabres Hall of Fame in this, our last year in the yard, my home away from home for the past 26 years. So thank you, Sabres players, past and present for all of the wonderful memories. And go Sabres, go, in our future new home at Marine Millen Arena. Thank you, Norty. Thank you, Seymour. This time, I would like to call on Mr. Jim Cleave, President and CEO, of Marine Midland Bank. Mr. Cleave. Nordy and Seymour, congratulations. As you know, in just a few short months, the new Marine Midland Arena will open, 
And on behalf of Marine Midland, we would like to, at this night, officially dedicate the new ice rink at the new arena in your honour, in recognition of all of the years of service you have brought to this area in bringing hockey to us. There will be a bronze plaque recognizing this dedication, which will permanently hang in the tunnel to the Sabres dressing room in the new arena. And it is our wish that all future Buffalo Sabres, as they come down to enter onto the ice, walk by that plaque and remember and recognize the hockey tradition that you two have brought to this community. I would now like to call upon two Sabres stars, Pat Lafontaine and Gilbert Perrault, to come forward, please, and present the two plaques. Well, on behalf of the Alumni players, I just would like to thank Simon and Audi for the wonderful job they have done in Buffalo. They are the pioneers here, and we have some great years here for the past 27. And, you know, we're going to move pretty soon in the new ring and hope them best of luck on everything, and the team too. Thank you very much. This ice ring is dedicated to Seymour H. Knox III and Northrop R. Knox, Buffalo Sabres hockey club founder, whose commitment to the game and love for the city of Buffalo made the creation of the Marine Midland Arena possible. Ladies and gentlemen, we can't bring you all down to this face-off circle tonight. There have been 15 million plus of you since 1970 who have seen the Sabres play here at the Odd. I will speak for all of you right now, with your permission. Thank you, Seymour. Thank you, Nordy, for all the memories. You are brothers who honor each other and honor us all with personal integrity devotion to family, dedication to making the National Hockey League in Buffalo the great game that it is. How can we measure what you have done for your community? They say nobody ever pays to see an owner own or cheers an owner as he goes about doing his task. Who do no owners sometimes, we know that, that they sometimes get booed, but not the Brothers Knox. We salute you. We cheer you. May the sounds of those cheers stay with you always. Congratulations. As you see, the alumni now lining up to congratulate both Seymour and Norty Knox. I don't think this was in the program, <laughs> but they want to be very much a part of this. And it was very much a surprise to both of the Knox brothers 
I think they, they thought that some of these folks would be back to help celebrate their big night, but they had no idea that about 40 members of the Buffalo Sabres alumni would indeed be here on this very special night. And I know that it's very heartwarming, not only to the two who are being inducted, but also to their families. Jamie Knox is being saluted by so many of the Buffalo Sabre grads, as is Norty Knox's wife. This was a night that most people felt would have been one of the most memorable in this building, and indeed it has been. Aided and abetted by the likes of Gilbert Perro and Mike Foleno. Foleno coming out and doing his patented jump after goal jump. Of course, he's now an assistant coach with the Toronto Maple Leafs. And Gilbert Perro was, was nothing except a, a god in this building and was throughout his entire National Hockey League career. The Montreal Canadiens are still in the dressing room, of course. They're waiting for all of this to get underway, and they this year's edition of the Buffalo Sabres have now moved to their own blue line and are awaiting the rest of the shall we call it the receiving line to pass by the honored folks here tonight and then they will be bringing out the Montreal Canadiens and they and the Buffalo Sabres can do battle in game number 81 between the two clubs and the final one to be played in this building the two teams do have a game remaining at the New Molson Center Another week or so down the road. Certainly has been a night that will be remembered not only by the Knox family, but also by a sellout crowd here in the auditorium. And I, I know for a fact that a lot of people who were fortunate enough to get tickets to this game did so specifically because they wanted to see the Knoxes and their very personal ceremony before this game got underway tonight. Very nice touch to have the plaque that will be hanging, as you heard Mr. Cleve mentioning, the plaque that will be hanging right near the Buffalo Sabres dressing room in the new Marine Midland Arena. It will be something that will be viewed by players of this year's edition and all players in the future as they pass in and out of the dressing room. And now the this year's Sabres edition is lining up as well as they want to talk to the Knoxes to pass along their congratulations. Nobody wants to be left out on a big night such as this, nor should they, nor should they. The Sabres are actually going to leave after this game tonight by bus. Make their way to Pittsburgh where they play tomorrow night. It'll be the only bus trip that they'll have remaining in this season. After that, everything will be in the air. There's Buffalo captain Pat LaFontaine and Dominic Hashik. Mike Wilson all making their way by, and Joe Perro over cheering up the troops. Over near a bench where he spent a lot of years. He didn't sit on the bench very much, though. <laughs> certainly came off it and provided an awful lot of thrills in this building along with many of the other players who you're watching as some of the younger fans are taking the opportunity of getting their heroes autographs down in that general vicinity. There is no truth to the rumor that Carol Martin and Robert are going to dress for the game tonight. Don't believe it. Officials are already out on the ice. They are ready to get things underway in this hockey game. Dave Jackson will be the referee. Kevin Collins and Tim Nowak. And that's a nice touch, too. I'm sure it wasn't planned that way, but Tim Nowak, of course, is a Buffalo resident or grew up in the Buffalo area, so he is certainly very aware of everything the Noxes have done in this community. And I'm sure that when he found out that he was going to be assigned to this game tonight, it was somewhat heartwarming on his behalf as well. I am joined by two of the newest members of the Buffalo Sabres Hall of Fame, Seymour and Northrop Knox. First of all, Seymour, let's start with you as a 
your overall impressions of a, of a great and touching ceremony before this uh, action began? Well, Barry, I thought it was an outstanding ceremony. It was full of surprises and uh, thrills for me and uh, hopefully for the fans. Uh, we had no idea that the uh, veteran players were going to be making an appearance, and it was just great seeing so many of them and seeing them after so many years of not having seen them. That was uh, very, very exciting. How, what was the feelings like? Uh, I know Gilbert was the last one announced, and he came out with the usual vigor and uh, slapping high fives to everybody. Well, he was in his element once again, and uh, he took advantage of that opportunity and uh, said hello to everybody, and I liked the way he did it with all the members of our team. That was great. So turning our attention to Northrop Knox, uh, joining his brother in the Sabres Hall of Fame. Uh, you know, constantly throughout our pregame show and throughout the 26 years of this organization, there's been one word that's really been mentioned, and that's been family. Can you touch on that? Well, we're, my brother and I have been together for so many years and everything that we've done, and it's just a tremendous privilege to have been brought into the Hall of Fame with, with Seymour. You talk about uh, this action here, Montreal. Uh, uh, you look back at October 15th of 1970, the first drop of the puck here was against these Habs. I think that was probably before you were born, Barry, but I sure remember it very well. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. I was around, but I appreciate it. Well, it was a great occasion then, and it's a great, great occasion tonight. And now we can look forward to uh, hopefully having Montreal in the uh, first game in the uh, new arena. That would be nice. Thank you, gentlemen, and congratulations to both of you once Thanks, again. See more Northrop Thank Knox. You, Thank you so much. Stay with us. Brian Blessing from our Empire Studios and an NHL update are just ahead on the Empire Sports Network.